Hi there, this is Omega Supreme here with a special Transformers toy review. I'm having a look at a third party toy from Unique Toys and this is uh, Fenry, I believe that's how it's pronounced and uh, he's an homage to uh, is it Cine Twin or Rip Snapper? Yeah, Cine Twin. Yes, I'm sure it is because there's two heads on the back here. Um, so this is their third figure to make up Abominus, who is, uh, well, they're calling him Auden. So, so far we've had a Troll, uh, Alberic, and uh, this guy here. So this is the third one. Um, so he arrived, this is a, a sample from Unique Toys, arrived um, yesterday. Yeah, so I've had a bit of a chance to uh, play around with him. Um, he's got some bits and pieces from the last one, Alboric, um, which I think was Ripper Snapper actually. Yeah. Um, so there's a few similar bits and a few like improvements on 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 that guy. So I can show you through all of that. Uh, I can show you through the transformation, all the articulation, and also have a look at the combined mode, so he forms the limb. Doesn't come with any instructions because this is just a review sample. So um, I kind of muddle my way through this transformation. So I haven't got any, <coughs> pardon me. <laughs> so I haven't got um, any of the instructions or anything like that to show you, but he is complete. Okay. So first of all, we'll just have a close look up at the head sculpt on this guy. Um, you can see he's got a really cool uh, face on this guy. Um, quite a mean looking face. The articulation on this one kind of can move all around. It's on like a, a peg here. So you get a bit of movement up and down. So you can look down a little bit and up. But there isn't loads of movement on here. He's got nice deal detailing around here. So he's got some nice grills in here and some silver paint that's added here as well as some purple and silver on the side here. He has got a peg in here which can then be used in uh, beast mode for uh, pegging in his uh, foot which can be used as a weapon. He does come with two additional weapons so he comes with two of these. Uh, these purple kind of sword hook things um, are made out of kind of soft plastic but they're kind of in between too so there is a little bit of bend in them um, but they aren't sharp or anything like that so you can pop them in his hand there like that and uh, obviously he's got two so you can pop them in either hand like so um, interestingly you've also got slots on either side here and here so you can mount some of the guns on there as well and so I'll just grab hold of these and all you want to do is you, want, you can kind of pull these bits off like this so I'll just move him back so we can do that so pull these bits off like so and fold this out like that and you've got one of the guns so you can either plug it on the side here like that so you can have the guns going like that if you like on the side so obviously you can plug it either side and you can also plug it into his leg here as well if you want some leg cannons and you can hold it in his hand uh, the only trouble with holding in his hand here is I don't think this peg here is long enough to hold it in his, prop in his hand properly. And that's probably because uh, they designed it first off for um, Troll. And so it sits in his hand okay but not on this one. And with Troll you're able to peg it onto the sides. You could peg it in here like that. Uh, but then that does mean you've got this open part of the gun here, but uh, you could kind of have him holding it like that if you wanted to, which kind of means that you're not showing all of that side of it. So I'll take that out of his hand for now. And the other thing you can do as well is you've got these pegs which flip out like this, and you can then have the backpack or side pack, whatever you want to call it, foot. On the side here so you can plug it in like that on the side if you want to have them carry that and that can fold up open like that as well so you've got this on the side like so okay 
So you can actually have him holding all of all the weapons and you can peg that on the side or you could peg that on the either side like that. Completely up to you. Um, he has even got a little peggy hole here so if you are inclined and do want to mess around you can you can do that if you want to. <laughs> um, other things as well to show you on this one is you can fold these heads around like that. So I know I posted a few pictures up and people quite liked him with these kind of heads coming over his, his shoulders here like that. But um, I guess the official way to have it is like that. So you kind of fold up around the back of the figure here. And you see he's got nice heel spurs at the bottom here. So that's brought over from their second figure as well. And the other thing as well you've got is kind of ankle tilt in here as well. As far as articulation goes you can move his legs uh, forward and kind of back up until this bit stops it here. You've got a bend in the knee. So I can bend all the way back and um, you can bend the toe forward if you want to and then you've got this uh, tilt that we said about it as well. His arm can come out here, go all the way around and got a bend here and oh, and that just does peg out sometimes. A swivel there at the bicep here, at the top here and no articulation in the, in the fist at all. Um, what you can do though, if you want to, is part of the transformation is you could tuck his hand in like so. And you could have him with a claw if you wanted to. So you can do that. And the claw does actually bend as well, so you can make it look like a fist if you want to or kind of like he's calling someone over like that so you can have them like that if you want to just out and you've also got waist articulation which is I don't think the um, last figure has got that I will just show you a quick uh, size comparison so you can see him against uh, the other figures here so uh, this is his buddy here in uh, robot mode. You can see, obviously, with this bit here, he is a little bit taller, but pretty much they're the same height. Um, this guy probably a little bit blockier, a little bit chunkier, maybe, um, just slightly. And then you've got uh, Troll, so I've got Troll and Beast mode at the moment. Um, so you can see him here alongside each other. And they've got the same bits here, obviously, because they both transform into legs. What I'll do now is just show you the transformation. So I've done the first bit where I've transformed uh, his hand. So we'll do the same on the other hand. You just flip this bit up here. So I'll bring that in a bit closer and fold that in like so, all the way in. And then that'll come down like so. The head, you fold that forward like so. And you can see there's a kind of hole in here and what I do is I just fold the head round, tuck this in, and fold that in like that. Uh, then you get hold of these heads and you just move them round and say so you want to do them so they're in here like that. It doesn't look like they peg in at all uh, anywhere though from what I can see. And then turn the heads round like so. Got them like that and these do open and close these mouths and they've got sharp little teeth in there as well. Uh, you want to move his this forward and that forward like that so you start to got the got the front of the beast mode and then you come around here to the back section and this one here, this part is quite similar to um, Alberic, so Ripper Snapper on here in the fact that what you do is you uh, open up this part of the leg here um, let's have a look, let's double check that's right is it this part? I think it's this side here 
Oh no, it's that side. Aha. So you fold this bit out. So I forgot about this bit. Slightly different. You fold uh, this the hind legs out like this. And uh, then what you do is you unpeg uh, this bit from the knee. Actually, what I do is I'll just fold these feet in first of all. So you've got that. And then if you pretend you're going to bend the knee and you just unpeg it from here, so you can see where it's it's pegged in there and then what you want to do is uh, twirl this round like so I think I've got that right yeah turn that around like that and what will happen is as you bring this up here this will line up and go into there and um, so you just want to position that so it comes in here and then this leg bit is going to come up to here and as you do that you just want to unravel his foot like so and then you can peg that into the hole here I'll reach up and do it back into there okay so you've got then his back leg and his front leg and um, so I'm not sure on the official transformation I think I've, I've got it like that on the pictures that I've taken so far um, so I'll show you that again because I kind of messed that up is fold these in like so actually it's probably better to fold the big part of the leg in first so you go there you go I'm making all the mistakes so you don't have to hopefully there we go I just pull this bit out there you go so I'll fold this bit in first and then fold that over the top like so and then bend here at the knee and peg it from that plug this bit from the side first so bring this bit out so that's out of the way and then there you go unplug it like that so you can see where it plugs into here and then bring this part up you do have this bit as well which can come down and actually lock into place here uh, which I think is more for uh, limb mode so you unfold the foot like so and then this bit will plug into here like so and then you can arrange the foot how you want like so and so I'll plug that bit out like that so you can see how it plugs in and then plug these bits together like so like that so that's all plugged in nicely and then you're starting to you're nearly there So nearly in beast mode and then all you have to do is you come on the back here and you've got these which plug into the back here so he's got two tails on the back uh, so that's pretty much it um, in terms of articulation you've got the heads here which are all um, kind of movable from side to side um, it does look it's slightly different plastic from this bit to this bit so there's a slight miscolor match from these bits these bits and on this side here um, which is quite unusual so you've got a different type of plastic on the top here you can see there's a slight difference in colour there and there now maybe just because it's a sample uh, I'm not sure um, the mouth does open and close here so you've got a decent range of movement uh, it's weird that these bits don't tab in or do anything in here but it then does actually give you uh, more license to kind of move these around if you want to. Um, so another configuration I had, was looking at was that you could kind of have, well, you know, 
have them up here if you really wanted to to make the beast mode appear a little bit shorter um, that's one idea um, but I think the official transformation has got them like that you can mess around like that you can kind of swivel these outwards to give them a bit more of a dynamic pose uh, and then obviously you can kind of bend these as you want to uh, you can even swivel that round if, if you really wanted to but I think that's the official transformation and these do actually curl up as well so you can kind of have a have him kind of doing a, a kind of swiping at someone if you wanted to as well uh, these bits at the back don't kind of move out but you can display the back foot in a various different way so the way I've done it is I've kind of collapsed the foot down so it's lower at the back end and kind of going up um, higher this way um, you've got various uh, bits where you can put these guns on so if you want to you can have them on the front like this or you can have them on the back legs or uh, the other configuration is you could have them actually uh, pegged onto the actual foot itself so I'll just unplug all of this like so, so you can have it like that and then have these guns like that and then have this forward like that and then plug it onto this hole in the middle So then you can kind of display them like that or plug in these guns into the back here if you wanted to. Um, either way, so you've got lots of different ways that you can display them. I think he looks pretty cool in beast modes. Uh, I've had a few people say that um, they didn't think much of him beast mode, preferred him in, in robot mode. I think he looks pretty good in both. Um, here he is alongside a uh, block there. So you see they look pretty cool together. And uh, I'll try and take some pictures of all four of them so you can see what they all look like together. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. And uh, he trans um, to put him into uh, limb mode. Uh, I did have a few question marks on that because um, because I didn't have the instructions. Um, I've got him pretty much how I've seen him on the Unique Toys Facebook page, but I want to be 100% sure. So you fold these bits in, like that on either side, and peg it in like so. So you've got his foot like that. And then what you want to do is you come around here, just unplug these bits from here. Now on the um, pictures that I've seen on their Facebook page, they do actually have these feet tucked in and tucked in around, but I'll show you why I think they should be on here instead. So I'll show you first of all. So this is where the where it gets plugged in. So you just unplug it here. Make sure you've got this bit in the middle here. So this bit is going to help hold that in place there, whereas uh, this is going to plug into here like that and then as you close it down this will peg into here that on the other side and peg in here so it'll keep it nice and secure make sure I've got it all lined up right come on there you go so that's all pegged in like that uh, then what you want to do is, uh, yeah, swivel this round like that, and right, let's remember this. Okay, so then you'll, you've got the bits for the heads here. This unplugs from here, like that, uh, and this will come down, and then it will kind of slot into place here. Um, so it just pegs into. Here, there's a little black hole, black peg, just here, 
for coming plug into there so that's all into place here uh, and then uh, what you want to do is turn these heads round from what I understand and have them like that on the back see for the um, pictures that I've seen it shows with these bits at the back here but then that kind of gets in the way if you've got these bits having to be down here so I've left them like that with these bits out that's um, the same for um, Troll so he does also have these kind of small leg bits out as well so I presume it's it's going to be the same um, and you can either have it I have it so you've got these bits facing forward but up to you how you have it transformed and then round here what you want to do is you unplug this from here so I'll just bring it up a bit slightly sorry about that uh, so you unplug this from here like that and then what you want to do is you kind of move this bit down and then this bit will peg into there like so and oh, let's remember how this goes <laughs> Uh, do, do, do. Is it like that? Uh, come on, let's remember. That doesn't look right. Um, ah, yeah, I think it was like like that around the back from what I remember so it's kind of plugged in around the back and then do the same again actually I think yeah so let's get this right so plug it in Knowing which way to swivel this um, this bit around here, plug that in like that, and then to move that round, swivel that round, and plug that in like that, and then move this down and plug that around like so. Um, so you've got these bits on the back. Um, I'm not. 100% sure because like I said I don't have the um, the uh, don't have all the instructions for him um, now let me see if I can work out a bit slightly better way of doing that because um, I'm sure I had it set up slightly differently before ah yes that looks better um, so it might be that it's more like that that would make more sense anyway so with the that bit on the outside um actually i'm sure it should it with this bit on the outside like this down like that but i really can't be sure anyway um i think it's like that um, I'm sure I've got some other pictures and things that I'll be able to uh, show you for you. Uh, I think that's his, his kind of foot mode here. Um, it's really solid. Look, you can move from side to side here. And this will be the peg hole here where you'll be able to put his foot in here. And you can even bend the foot forward like that. Um, yeah, this foot mode doesn't look as clean on this one as it does on Audin. And that may well be because I've got the transformation wrong. Like I said, I don't have all the instructions for this figure um, or any of the instructions for this figure. So I'm pretty much uh, kind of guessing and going off the uh, pictures that are currently available on the Unique Toys Facebook page. So like I said, I may well have got, got that all wrong. 
So I'm just transforming back. So what you'll have to do is just um, take this bit here to then actually move that forward like that. And then what you want to do is, I'll just do this very quickly just so you can see how it goes from uh, start to finish anyway, just to finish it all off. And then what I do is I just go back through and fold that back into there, like so. Like that, and you want to do the same on the other side. The key step is, which I keep forgetting, is to actually pull this from this thing here. Otherwise, it, you won't then be able to pull it down and pull it into place. Pack it in there, and then kind of fold it around and fold that foot in there, and then fold out these two bits at the bottom here. Like that. I'm sure if I got that right. Don't think I've got that in the right position. Perhaps it's like that. Yeah, that seems to fit in better. Um, that then means that you can pull that all the way forward like that so actually you probably just want to have it facing the opposite way like that see all these little things are, are quite useful <laughs> me messing up on the transformation and then you want to do is unpeg this here pull it out like this plug it back in like that uh, it's always much easier I find transforming things back into robot mode plug that back in like that move these hand bits forward like so uh, get the head out do 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 plug it in the only thing that would have been quite cool on on these figures would be if they um did some light piping on on some of the figures you know a bit like uh, the uh warpatron figures and things like that um that would be really cool and i think i'd Add something to to the uh, look of the figures, um, but as they are, they 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 do look uh, pretty cool. It's uh, I'm just kind of nitpicking really, and let's have a look and fold that up like that. You can then use this bit to fold it out back in. I like to then fold these bits forward, so you've got the claw bits kind of underneath his arm if you want to. So you can see, then still see part of the claw. Fold it up, twirl it round, pull that bit out, and like I said, then what I like to do is fold that bit forward like that. So you've got part of his claw hanging out there. But you can just plug, peg that back in, twist it round, and put it around the side. And there you have him in a robot mode. There you go. So that's him. Uh, let me know what you think. If you're going to be picking up this guy, I know with you know all the combiner wars figures. Well, I'm the third party doing the combiners. Uh, you know this is definitely one that's high on people's lists. Be interesting to see if Hasbro do do a version of Abominus as well. Let me know what you think. You're going to be picking up this guy. Uh, what do you think about the beast mode? Let me know. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Bye.